What's going on guys, my name is Mojo Kicks and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the upcoming April 2022 Yeezy lineup and all the releases we currently know for April, but let's get right into it. This month isn't going to be as packed as March, but it's still going to be a pretty good month for Yeezy. We're going to be getting some good releases as well as some big restocks. And starting off the month of April on April 7th, we will be seeing the release of the Yeezy Quantum Mono Carbon. This is a new Yeezy Quantum colorway, and it actually is currently loaded up on the Adidas Confirmed app VA draw for Thursday, April 7th. The draw on the Adidas Confirmed app actually went live today on Monday, April 4th, and the draw will be closing at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on April 7th, and the draw results will then start coming in at 11 a.m. Eastern. The retail price for this Yeezy Quantum will be set at 260 which is the new Yeezy Quantum retail price. It looks like the Yeezy Quantum model also got a $10 increase like some other Yeezy models, for example, like the 350 V2 or the Yeezy Slides and Foam Runners, as well as some other Yeezy models. The original retail price of the Yeezy Quantum was set at 250 It also looks like this Yeezy Quantum Mono Carbon is a North America exclusive, but it's possibly EU and other select countries could get the release on a later date. Now, this Mono Carbon colorway is very similar to the original Quantum colorway. This Mono Carbon does feature a blue hue throughout the upper, and it looks like the neoprene color does feature a dark navy. You still do have the reflection heel as well. The original date for the CZ Quantum was set for March 25th, but it did then get delayed till April 7th, which is the official release date. Now next up on Saturday, April 9th, we should be seeing the restock of the Yeezy 350 V2 Zebra. It will be retailing for the new Yeezy 350 V2 retail price of 230 USD, as the Yeezy 350 V2 model also got a $10 increase. This will be the seventh time the Yeezy 350 V2 Zebra is restocking, and I know a lot of people have been wanting a 350 V2 Zebra restock for a while now. A lot of the restocks in the past have been in Asia or EU exclusive, and we haven't really seen a big worldwide restock where it's widely available. Now, it does feature full-length boost cushioning, making it super comfortable. There's not a ton of info on this restock, and it very well could get delayed. The Yeezy schedule does change a lot, so we're going to have to wait and see, but as of now, it is set for April 9th. It also is expected to be a worldwide restock, but it's possible it could be US only. Now, for the third drop of April, we should be seeing the release of the Yeezy Foam Runner Sulfur. This Yeezy Foam Runner is expected to be releasing on April 16th for the new Yeezy Foam Runner retail price of 90 USD for the adult sizing, 65 for kids, and 45 for infant sizing. This is a new Yeezy Foam Runner colorway, and I think it's perfect for the spring-summer. It has a much lighter tone to the ochre colorway. The Yeezy Foam Runner is made from an injected LG-based EVA foam, so they are very comfortable and are very durable. These will most likely be a pretty tough cop, especially going into the spring-summer. A lot of people are going to want to get their hands on a pair of foam runners. Like I mentioned, it will also be releasing in full family sizing, so the stock should also be pretty good. From what I've noticed from the past releases, the Yeezy Foam Runner colorways that do feature the MX Swirl seem to be more limited than the solid colorways, so hopefully there is a decent amount of stock in this foam runner. I'm expecting there to be a good amount of W's. Your best bet will definitely be the Adidas Confirmed app draw. We also actually got a first look of the Yeezy Foam Runner Sulfur. I'm definitely super excited for this one. There also is a slight rumor that the Stone Sage colorway could also be restocking alongside, but that is yet to be confirmed. The Stone Sage colorway did initially release on March 11th, and it did release alongside the Mist Yeezy Foam Runner. Now, the last Yeezy drop currently for April 2022, we should be seeing a wider restock of the Yeezy 700 MNVN Geode. It is expected to be restocking on April 18th, and retail will be set at 230 for the adult sizing, 160 for for kids and 140 for infant. The Geode 700 MNVN first released back in December 2021 as a Yeezy Supply exclusive. It was actually a pretty easy W. It did release alongside the Yeezy 700 MNVN Metallic. Both were very easy Ws. They were sitting on Yeezy Supply. So I'm definitely expecting this upcoming restock to be a fairly easy cop. I think it's actually a perfect colorway for the spring summer, but I would love to see Yeezy switch up the 700 MNVN a little bit by maybe switching up the color of the midsole and having a two-tone colorway kind of similar to the Sun 700 V1 or the bright blue. I think in the near future, if we see a Vermilion or Red October Yeezy 700 MNVN. That can definitely bring the hype back a little bit for the 700 MNVN. Now, these should be a wider release, but there are some rumors that it could be a Yeezy Supply exclusive again, so it's possible they might just restock them on Yeezy Supply again, but I would expect them to make it a wider release so that everyone has a chance at copying a pair. When these first dropped back in December, a lot of people were wondering what the difference was between the metallic colorway and this geode colorway, as the colorways on the upper did look very similar in the pictures. The geode colorway does feature kind of a washed out lavender color, and in hand, you can definitely see the difference between the two, but currently, that is the Yeezy April 2022 lineup, but as we know, Yeezy does change their schedule a lot, so there could be some stuff that's added or some stuff that is delayed and pushed back. I will definitely keep you guys up to date, and if there are any major changes, I will make an updated video. But make sure to let me know down in the comments below which Yeezy you're looking most forward to for this month, April 2022. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching today's video. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash the like button down below, and if you're new here and you haven't already, consider hitting the subscribe button. But like always, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!